Hey ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you this evening to talk to you about how to properly clean your roof, if it is a rubber roof or if it's a TPO. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, very simple if you have a fiberglass roof or if you have a metal roof. But I think two more complex type roofs are your rubber roof or the TPO. So that's what I thought I'd cover here this evening. Now, for those of you that have a rubber roof, my recommendation once a year, meaning, and my recommendation would be that you do this in the springtime because you're getting it out, you're gonna to wanna to have your camper looking sharp. My recommendation would be to be using the uh, Protect All brand. You have a cleaner and you have a treatment. Now the way you use these, and by the way, this type of a packaging is not gonna be enough to clean your roof. I'm just using it because it's a little bit simpler for me to show this. You're gonna to wanna to buy the larger, the gallon type container of these. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna start with a cleaner. Now the cleaner, what you wanna do, first of all, make sure that you rinse off your roof completely. And then what you wanna do is start with a cleaner. You wanna use just a regular style uh, floor mop when you do this. And you wanna do it in sections and be rinsing it off on a regular basis. So let's say that you chose, you're gonna start cleaning your roof on a Saturday. Clean your roof on a Saturday, again with the cleaner, and then on Sunday, a good 24 hours later, then you're gonna do the treatment. And ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe the difference in your roof when using these products. So I'd recommend in the springtime that you're using this. Now, for the rubber roof, and we're talking Dicor, by the way, if in fact you, and by the way, the recommendation is you clean your roof three or four times a year. Um, after you clean it with this here, then all you're gonna need after that on a rubber roof is Dawn dishwasher detergent. It is as simple as that. Just use Dawn. Dawn does a great job. And that will take care of it for your rubber roof. Now let's talk about uh, in the event that you end up having mold and mildew on your uh, roof, on the rubber roof. In that case, a couple different things you can use. You can use soft scrub, you can use Tilex. Um, be careful if you use Tilex. You want to use and uh, do small spaces like two by two squares, and make sure you're rinsing it off on a, a regular basis. Um, you want to also, when you're using the Tilex, make sure you're diluting it and make sure that you're leaving it on three to ten minutes. But soft scrub should work well. Keep in mind that on whether it's the TPO or whether it is on a um, rubber roof, you do not want to use any cleaners that have a petroleum distillate, that have any harsh abrasives in it, or any citrus-based cleaners. Now, I mentioned harsh uh, abrasives, and of course you can see I have borax sitting here, so on TPO, you could use either of these two. You can use Dawn or borax. And the thing is with this, this is a powder form. So what you want to do is you'd want to be mixing this with water so that you're diluting it and making it more of a liquid. Use about, you know, get yourself a nice uh, good size bucket, put some of this in there, and you'll have to play with it, kind of see what works for you. But do not just sprinkle this right on top of your roof and then try to um, work it into the roof because that will damage the roof. So we're talking the TPO. Now either of these roof systems when you're cleaning it, if you're cleaning on the rubber roof, you're cleaning with a soft scrub, or your TPO if you're cleaning it, use a soft bristle, or I'm sorry, a medium, medium bristle brush. Kind of like the side kind you see with the long extensions. Uh, that is what you'd want to clean the roof with. And again, whether you have a TPO roof or whether you have a rubber roof, you want to make sure that you're cleaning your roof three to four times a year. Uh, that will ensure a couple of things. One, that you're cleaning the roof, but two, now you're going to be able to inspect that roof um, for any um, issues with the sealants. Now, let's talk about sealants that you're going to be using on the roof. On your Dicor roof, meaning your rubber roof, you want to make sure that you get the proper sealant. You cannot just go out and get um, 
Just think you're gonna go run to Home Depot and uh, pick up some type of sealant. You've gotta make sure that you have a Dicor authorized type sealant. Now there are two different types that you're gonna be dealing with on your roof. If you are sealing the area of your roof where the rubber is meeting the fiberglass, uh, and whether it's on the top of the roof or whether it's down the side, down the front, whatever, you want to be using what they call a non-leveling, non-sag sealant. And they'll say it right on it. Now these sealants are available in multiple different colors to match your particular unit. If you're sealing on the flat roof on the top, then what you're going to be using is a self-leveling sealant. The benefit there is that you can just goop it on there and it'll just self-level. Now you might say to yourself, well, how do I do this? First of all, when you have to reseal, how do you know that it has to be resealed? By the way, I'm going to have a link down below talking to you about what you're looking for uh, when you're inspecting your unit for sealants, and you'll be able to see. So you're looking for cracking, peeling, bubbling, those type of things. Now you don't necessarily need to remove the old sealant, but you do need to do a really good job cleaning it off. Um, rough it up if you can, and then just goop it on there. If you're putting a level, self-leveling sealant on there, just goop the heck out of it. It doesn't have to be pretty to be effective. So now that would be for your rubber roof. On an Alpha System TPO roof, or, any, or even you know any other type of a TPO, make sure you get the proper sealant for that as well. And they're going to have self-leveling, and they're going to have the non-sag type sealants. And again, you want to make sure that you're using the proper sealant for the proper area. Do not think you're just going to go out and just get a regular uh, sealant that you're using your house for around your windows and doors. It's not going to work. Um, so again, this is what you're going to be doing for, uh, for the roof. Very, very simple. Now, as I mentioned to you all um, last week when we gave away uh, a prize, that I had another giveaway coming on. And boy, am I excited about this. This is something that I talk about on a regular basis when we're talking about refrigerators. Because RV refrigerators, they're a funny thing. For most of you, you do not have circulation if you have an RV refrigerator. So my recommendation is this, uh, it's a refrigerator aerator. And what it does is, it's gonna be going ahead and circulating the air, but it also, it's twofold. It's doing two things for you. The other thing is, you have a little charcoal bit that you put back here, and it is gonna filter the air in your refrigerator. So no more having to worry about putting a, a box of Am Hammer uh, baking soda in your, um, in your refrigerator. Now what I'm gonna be doing with this, this is a $30 value by the way, and with the packets that I'm giving you, the extra packets, this is actually a $35 value. On top of that, I will be sending you your first packet of batteries for this. This only uses AA batteries which will be perfect for what you want to do. And this will help you not run the risk of freezing the items on the top shelf. Now, along with these, this uh, aerator, this fan, I'm also throwing in this nice little hand towel. And how appropriate is this hand towel for those of you that are campers? So that's, and listen, it's gonna be very simple this time. In order for you to win, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my page, and put a comment down below. Just let me know that you've watched it. You know, thumbs up, whether you like it or not. If there's something in particular you'd like me to cover, another topic, just mention that. If there's a product you'd like me to review, you know, as far as an aftermarket product for campers, you could do that. It's that simple. Just put a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what I'm going over here. And we'll be coming back at you next Sunday. Matter of fact, by the way, next Sunday is Mother's Day. So uh, all you mothers out there, uh, please do enjoy. <laughs>